Fan Showdown, Season 2, Episode 11. Another week, another episode. Are you ready? Now, let's have a, real quick, let's just have a look back at all the fans currently on the leaderboard and even the ones from the previous season that are on the top there. If you look at them, you'll notice that there's, uh, for the most part, they're pretty much all alike, except for that one that's made of dicks. But other than that, other than that one, they're pretty much consistent of what you would think a fan is when you think of a PC cooling fan. Well, if all that sounds, you know, a bit boring, uh, good news, because every fan today doesn't fit that build. Let's start with today's tamest design, uh, at least of the four I got here. This is the Demon, and it was created by Cameron. And yes, our first fan is a devil fan with nine with nine demon blades and a nice pentagram right there, right there in the middle. Now, is Cameron a demonic warlock hell-bent on, you know, complete destruction? I don't know. But what we can all agree on is that this design is stunning. The detail captured in the wings of this fan is unprecedented. It wasn't easy to print. Let me, let me just start by saying that. But as you can see, it was printable. And after I got it to print, it just looks amazing. It's like, this would be perfect if you had like a, a doomed, like a Doom, the game Doom PC build. Like imagine this fan black in a Doom PC build with like a black or a red backlight. That'd be sick. Pump a Daryl. Now this next fan is just one of those fans that <laughs> sometimes when I open up the fans showdown G email address and I'm just scrolling through the fans to see what everybody sent in. There's one that I run across every now and then. I'm just like, yeah. This is the homespun and it was created by Jeremy. Big old galaxy brain Jeremy. How did Jeremy come up with this legendary design, you might ask? Well, um, Jeremy, he told us. He's, he's like, I'll answer you, I'll answer that by asking you this. Have you ever, have you ever seen a hot ceiling? Just think about it. Just think about it right now. Hot ceiling. No. That's all thanks to the humble ceiling fan. Jeremy has created a ceiling fan for your PC. And I, I absolutely, I love it. It's just, it's just so well done. It's, it's got everything that, you I mean, you look at this and it's not like, I wonder what that is. It's like, that's a ceiling fan, but it's tiny. It's got the little, nice little detail on the fan blades that hold the, the fan blades themselves. It's got like the, the nice cone, the little light, beautiful. And to top it all off, this was incredibly easy to print, which is something that I, I actually, I very much appreciate. But to me, this fan has it all. It has, you know, functionality, printability. It has a theme. Um, it just fits everything. Now, I don't know how well it's gonna perform, but it could keep a ceiling cool. <laughs> oh, he's right. Do you guys remember that episode of the Fan Showdown with the tulip in it and the thumbnail? I was like just staring at this super tall monstrosity and just like, what, what are you? Well, it happened again. So this is the slug and it was created by Evan. And as you can see, Evan took a bit of a strange uh, approach to his design to say the least. He said, just as slugs move in silence and are ugly, so is this fan. I designed this to be quiet as possible while still moving a large amount of air. Okay, uh, I don't think I've ever looked at a slug in my entire life and thought PC fan, but uh, Evan's just built different again. And to him, a slug looks like a fan. I hope it works. I mean, it, it should probably, I hope it works better than it looks, but uh, I guess the good part would be that it printed really, really easily. I mean, I almost needed zero support for this bad boy and it just popped up like nobody's business. So I, I do appreciate that because this next one, um, if that was a fan that printed amazingly well, this is uh, this was a little tough to say the least. So this is the grid fin and it was designed by Null and the inspiration behind this fan was rocketry. Now grid fins have been around for quite a long time. The ones you're probably most familiar with are the ones used on the Falcon 9 booster. But you know, they've also been on the mighty N1 rocket and uh, probably the world's most frequently used rocket, the Soyuz. You know where a grid fin has never been used? PC fan, right here, PC cooling. You won't find many grid fins. And I, I mean, looking at it, I love it, but will it work? Uh, I don't know. And although the grid fin looks absolutely stunning, when I when I saw it, uh, I, it was just one of those fans. I, I, you see this one, you laugh. You see the grid fin, you're like, we got it, we got to try it. If it prints, we got to try it. Now, when it comes to sound, the slug came in with a sound level of 46.3 dBA. Homespun came in with a sound level of 47.2 dBA.
grid fin came in with a sound level of 45.2 dBA. And the Demon came in with a sound level of 46.3 dBA. Meaning out of these four fans here, the grid fin was the quietest, followed then by the Demon and the Slug, and then the, the homespun was in last place. But do you think the grid fin was so quiet because it's not moving air, or is the fact that it makes some noise hope that maybe it is? Now, would you look at that? This thing actually, it did work. It was quiet. It was a bit turbulent on the backside, but this thing pulled air in, pushed it out. So I wonder how it did in thermals. The Demon came in with an average temperature of 77.8 at a room temperature of 20.7, giving it a delta of 57.1. The Grid Fin came in with an average temperature of 80.8 at a room temperature of 21, giving it a delta of 59.8. The Homespun came in with an average temperature of 78.8 at a room temperature of 20.4, giving us a delta of 58.4. And the Slug came in with an average temperature of 77 at a room temperature of 21.1, giving us a delta of 55.9. Placing the Slug in first place, the Demon in second, Homespun in third, and the Grid Fin in fourth. And also I did see a lot of comments on the last few Fan Showdown videos asking, hey, where does the A25, A25, where does the A12X25 fit in nowadays. We haven't ran it in so long. So I did. I ran it again with these four fans and well, it finished fifth overall. And although none of these fans, you know, made the board, these are some of the, my, see, these are some of my favorite to test. They might not always do the best, but the detail, the complexity, the just, the strange wonder that is these fans is probably the funnest part. I mean, look at the detail again. Amazing. The thought process. The simple just scaled down. It's just so amazing. And it just, I love them every time. So make sure if you want to get involved in all this, if you have a great idea to head over to my Thingiverse account to check out uh, the dimensions you need to hit for the fans to actually work in the hub that I'm using, then send at least an STL file to thefanshowdown at gmail.com. Till next time.